As the session title says, I have a siren here. So over in the clip bin, we can listen to it. Yep, sounds like a siren to me. So I'm gonna bring it over to the timeline. Just drop it in there because it's shuffle mode. It jumps to the beginning. And we can see. Okay, that the siren is getting louder as it pitches up a little bit. First of all, let's take a better look at this. And let me zoom in just a little bit. And I think the first thing I need to do is zoom in a lot. So that's command and right bracket. And let's be sure that we don't have anything in here that isn't siren. There's just a little bit in the front there that isn't quite siren. So we'll just get rid of that. And okay, so now it's in right at the get go. And let's figure out where does the siren loop? This might be a good time to use our scrubber. Still going down at the three and a half second mark. Hard to do with the scrubber because it's... The pitch is so dependent on how fast you move your mouse. So, I don't know. Let me just use my eyeball on this one. And I'll zoom just a bit here. And it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Ah, so it's kind of right in there. Okay, so... Still going down. Okay, right about there. Okay, so if I want to make a little, like, you know, the little push pins that you stick into corkboard, if you wanted to make a little mark right there, kind of like a Sharpie mark or a kind of a post it note thing, it would be neat to be able to just mark that right in there in the region. Well, it turns out that in the clip menu, you can identify a sync point. And it's just a way of tacking a little triangle down here at the bottom that lets you identify some point that's important to you for this file. So, okay, so the thing about sync points, and by the way, if you want to remove one, if I click in the region, I can remove the sync point. Now, the thing about sync points is there's only one sync point per region. And gee, you really want to have another sync point back there. Well, Easiest way to do that is to make another region, right? If we just do Command E, we can splice those two apart. And then this guy, this region over here, can have his own sync point while this guy has his own sync point. So not a problem. One other thing I haven't shown you is that in the Edit menu, you can heal a separation. So if I select all, select these, and go back to Edit, just like I can Command-E to slice them apart, I can Command-H to heal them, and now they're all back together. Now, I have lost my sync point here, so I will go get it back. Sort of right in there, I believe it was. Clip, identify sync point. So, sync points are pretty handy for just sticking a little marker on a piece. Okay. So at my sync point, I'm going to command E this and then get rid of all the other iterations of the siren. So am I in loop playback? Let's find out. If I go to window and transport, yes, I am. Let's see what that sounds like looped. All right, so there's a little blip there because it's got kind of a little starting point sound here. The point here, though, is that if we're doing music for a game or a movie, and we want to create some music so that eight beats of this music equals one cycle of the siren, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what's the constant tempo that will get me eight beats of music, two bars of music, in this one iteration of the siren? So for that, I need bars and beats, not just minutes and seconds. So let's take a look at both, bars and beats and minutes and seconds. And we know from our music editing exercise that if this is going to be two bars long, that the downbeat of three should occur at the end of this siren cycle. So right now it's occurring a little early. So I need to turn off the conductor and figure out what tempo will line up 
bar three with the end of this sound effect. So am I going the right way? Yes. Wrong way? Right way. Okay. And it's sort of in the about 109 beats a minute. And we can verify that with our big counter. We actually don't want to look at code. We want to look at bars and beats. So about halfway through, I should see the downbeat of two, right? One, two, three, four. Okay. So if we were actually going to loop this thing, we would probably fade this little piece out at the end so we don't get that little blippage that we're getting. Okay, that's probably a little too serious of a fade, but you get the idea. At least we lost the little click there at the end. Okay, so we have determined that it's going to take a tempo of about 109 to write two bars of music to this little iteration of this siren. So in the next movie, we'll bring in a drum loop and try and create some music to this. <laughs> 